How is everybody doing tonight? Oh, let me get my... Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are back in the town of New Brighton, uh, which a couple of y'all helped me build yesterday. I'm really, really excited to uh, to get back into it. So, as you can see... I have not touched it since we last uh, since we last left it here. Uh, we still have the nice little piss poor park in the center. Uh, the water has, you know, uh, we we experienced what happened to the water yesterday. Hey, yo, Nerdist, welcome back, welcome back. I appreciate you tuning back in. Uh, big goals, big goals for today's stream. We want to kind of get all the roads upgraded, and we want to make sure that we uh, we stay in the green here as far as our money goes. Um, I think. I think that we can do it. I also want to sort of redo the industry area. Um, I don't like it. I, I really don't. It's not... Yeah, it, it just doesn't sit right with me. Um, kind of the way the roads are laid out and that sort of thing. Just not really sitting right with me. So, let me just uh, quickly adjust my audio. I believe the game sounds kind of quiet. So, let's turn that up just a little bit. Yeah, um, forestry instead of standard. I think that's a good idea. Let's see, where can we kind of build forestry right now? Let's have a look at our natural resources. Uh, this here. All right, so we have some good forestry industry over here. Um, looks like, what is this? Is this ore? Oh, yeah, we could definitely do ore. Ore would make us a ton of money. Um, we could farm across the... Actually, I think that'd be really cool if we had a bridge come straight through here and set up a little farming community. That would be very nice. Very nice if we just set up a little farming community here. But we're going to need some more money to do that. Um, I think I think you're on to something there with the forestry, though. I like that, uh, I like that all of our trees in the center here. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll have a nice little variety of, uh, of things to, to do. Because here we have amazing ore, here we have some great farmland, and up here in the mountains and kind of off this way, I definitely want to buy this tile. Uh, so we'll probably buy this one and this one. And then we can buy back here and get some oil. And then we have all four industries. This could be a very industry-based uh, industry based city, which would be really, really cool to have. So, let's get... Uh, I, I guess we should just get right into it. So... We will start by, I don't know, just playing it and see where our demand kind of goes. Um, we're really just in a growing stage still right now. Uh, we're making about 3000 bucks a week, which isn't bad. It isn't bad, but it could definitely be better. Uh, you can also see each individual district and see what actually makes the most to see what you should focus on. I think that's a good idea. Where would I find that at? Could I perhaps find that in here? No. I would have to make it first. Oh, we could do fishing. That could be something nice and easy to set up to uh, begin with. Hmm. How do I how do I do fishing? Ah, there it is. Our lovely uh lovely pollution. So we have a lot of salmon. We have a lot of salmon here. Uh, we can do a little fishery. We make some money off of that. See, a fishing route and a fishing harbor. So let's plop a harbor down right here. And then we will do a little fishing route. Um, does it connect like such? I'm not certain. Can I go outside of the border? Oh, I can. That's interesting. Okay, why are you, why are you like this? Hello, do you know anything about the fishing industry? I would like to know why this is doing that. Um. Huh. That's odd. Ah, uh, maybe I need to just need to reconnect it? Ah, yeah, just like that. Just like that. There we go. Now we should have boats go out and, and fish away. Ah, we need to connect it to a road. That makes sense. So we'll just bring a little dirt road. Uh, we'll keep it super cheap. 
You know what? We'll, we'll make it cheap and dirty, too. We'll just keep a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's ugly. We'll have to we'll have to fix that later. But right now, we just want money. That's all we want. We don't care about the aesthetics. Look! There's our little fishing boat. He's going out. He's going to catch some fish. Don't get sucked up by the giant water thing. Actually, you can tell just how massive that is in comparison to this fishing boat. That is insane. But there he goes. Out beyond the map. And here's his little buddy. Actually, I think we may have sized this just right to catch the optimal number of fish. But this should start generating trucks that will run into town and sell fish to the market. And our collector is doing its job. It's doing a wonderful job at that. Hmm. I feel like this intersection could definitely be improved. Yeah. We'll get to that later. Let's see how our little fishery is doing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's got fish. What's it turning them into? It produces fish. I'm assuming we can do something else with that beyond just produce fish. Ah. I've got to catch 250,000 fish. Oh, 2 million fish. Yikes. Uh, fish market takes in fresh fish from harbors and farms and sells it directly to the customers without processing it into goods. Okay, so it looks like these guys are going to take all that fish over here into the factory area and process it into goods and then take it straight to the consumers. And we have crime. Why do we have crime? Alrighty. Um, where is our police station? No, that should definitely be covered. Uh, then again, our city is getting quite large. So we will actually plop a police station down here on the other side of the city, and that'll kind of give us some more coverage for that. Hey, I just gave you a new police station. Go away. Go away, crime. We're not a fan of crime here. We don't like crime. Come on. Oh, wow. Crime rate is really high for you. Um, would that perhaps be because there is no easy way to get there? Yes, that's a very real possibility. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a little turnaround in here. And we will just make it a, a one way. So if you want to turn around, you go that way. If you want to turn around this way, you go that way. Beautiful. That's not going to cause any traffic at all. We'll get to that later. But uh, that should give us a nice turnaround so everybody can reach where they need to go. Perfect. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this will solve that issue for now. Um, look, people are already using them. They're doing great. What do we need? Oh, I've been completely ignoring our status bar. We really want some residential zones. So let's get some of those plopped in here. Um, we did decide this was going to be a park. Yes. So we will just fill in. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that because eminent domain, we will extend this road out this way. And we'll just kind of fill in some. Yeah, let me go in and be a little more precise here and I will carve out a space for all the roads to go boom boom and then I'll, I'll carve that out just in case before they start developing too too heavy into it we'll carve that out carve that out at there at there we also want to get rid of this and I don't think we're going to expand up the mountain anymore so I think these guys can stay Actually, we might come off of here and do a little winding path right up the mountain. I think that would be really cool. I think that would look really nice. It would be a nice aesthetic. I think we could do that. And then we'll, we'll kind of leave this, this one here open as well so we can wind up around the mountain, branch off into little branches, and then meet up with this guy here. Ah, yes. Good idea. Good idea. Check the ore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be perfect right through there. But I think I actually want to bring the highway up into the heart of our industry and then kind of through this way so that we can get into some forestry as well. But as long as we keep the highway through there, then we should also, you know, kind of dissolve some of that traffic that'll build up. Because uh, as you know, traffic is one of your worst enemies in this game. It'll hold up your money. It'll make your citizens unhappy. Just not, not a good thing to have at all. So... Let's see, this intersection here is bugging me. Uh, I will not lie. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to create sort of a uh, 
yeah, uh, the citizens are not going to be happy. Speedrun public transportation. You know what? I actually don't want to do any public transportation here. I want to fight the traffic. I think that's a good challenge. All right, my new challenge is to do zero public transportation. Just none at all. And I'm about to piss off a lot of these individuals. We're going to completely redo this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. American style all the way. Zero public transportation. And the stuff that we do have just doesn't work very well. All right. Let's call a mulligan on everything around here. And then re reestablish. I still don't know if this is going to work like I think it is. I, I wonder if you can kind of see what I'm going for here. Uh, which one is it? Is it the three lane one way? Yes. Come on. What are you occupied by? Ah, damn it. Okay. Let's try this again. So how many units over is this? This is eight units. So we will also go eight units here. Six, seven, eight. 12 meters up, perfect, perfect. And then that should clear. Yep, I don't see a little uh, pillar under there anymore. So we should be able to just botch this guy right on through here like that, and this guy right on through here like that. Now, this is going to be a mess and a half. So these guys are all gonna get killed. Um, why, why, why would it be too low? These guys are all gonna get uh, just kind of taken out of here. Oh yeah, we are we are ruining, <laughs> ruining this landscape, destroying houses, destroying homes, destroying people's livelihoods. But this is this is good. This is what we need. Every city needs to develop in its own way, and this is how this one will develop. We'll just do a plane like. Uh, I don't know if I want to do a two-lane one-way road. I don't think I have highway on-ramps yet. No, I don't. I gotta reach a higher population. So we will just do a basic one-way two-lane road. Just like this. Come on. Come on. Snap, snap, snap how you're supposed to. If I have to do it myself, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, that's terrible. That's not a great uh, diverging diamond. All right, so here's what we'll do. We will just rotate this around and call it good. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have, like, if I had the drag tool, I could just click and drag it and make it better. But we're not too worried about it. We're not too worried about it. So we start here and just kind of pop on up. Start here and pop on up. And we just take the angle that it gives us. And then that should be... Nope, you turn right around like that. Perfect. This should help with traffic a little bit. Uh, that way traffic on this road never truly stops. And uh, we could do a little lane mathematics here. And actually, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. So this is going to have to be upgraded eventually anyway. So I don't think it would hurt too, too bad to do it right now. Uh, we have a little bit of money. Oh, yeah, we really don't have that much money. It may, may have to wait. But if this is the same size, okay, it is, it is. So we are going to upgrade this road. How much does it cost? How much is it costing me? Barely anything. So, oh, they're the same price. So I can just do this anyway, and it's not a problem. So we'll, we'll come through here and do the lane mathematics so that they pick their, their lanes and they stay in them. So after this, we have four lanes, right? Uh, two lanes coming off so then we're going to have so two lanes goes to two lanes and then this is going to be a two lane highway now uh and we'll do it like such just like that and then two lanes comes on and becomes a four lane highway perfect 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 just like that so two lanes through there two lanes goes off two lanes comes through Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what we want. And now they should pick their lanes way ahead of time and be just fine. Uh, that's literally the same type of road. I don't know why it allowed me to upgrade. So, 
Let's have a look here. Do they pick? Do they stay? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. They're doing exactly how they should. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to go in here with Traffic Manager, and I'm going to kind of adjust this intersection. I want to fix these lane markings here. I want this lane to be left only or straight, just like that. We'll do the same over here. Uh, we we want to kind of keep them, you know, where they need to be. So left or straight and right or straight. And then this over here, that looks, uh, yeah, that looks good to me. I think that'll be fine. Um, I kind of want to make this left only, but I think it'll be fine. No, we're going to do it. We're going to make it left only. This is going to be a high traffic intersection, and I want to make sure that everybody gets where they, they need to go uh, in, in ample time. And we'll do this one as well left only so perfect when you're coming this way you can only go left here or you can go straight same here we're also going to increase the speed on this four lane road and we're going to make it like a highway this could be this could be dangerous so let's do it at 55 uh and i believe i can what does that say alt shift control uh what is the way that i can do it by like clicking the whole road. I believe it's control shift. No, that's not right. Oh, there we go. Um, how do I set it for all road types? Ah, here we go. Perfect. 50. 55. 55. And now we won't be able to really use one lanes anywhere else. Um, unless we go through and change them manually but that's fine now we have 55 miles an hour all the way through this is a big collector road so this can be 45 all the way down and then we'll keep our local roads at 20 to 30 we'll do 30 for now so now all our local roads are 30 miles an hour and these guys are just hauling ass they're now able to get where they need to go with speed and very efficiently this is nice I like this. I like this. It's it's good to look at. It's good to look at. Now, this is going to become an issue later. This is actually going to cause a lot of traffic later on. But for now, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, $10,000. We're still making money. I'm going to grab a drink of water real quick. Just uh, enjoy the, the little traffic here over our new intersection. Oh, God. Before I take a drink of water, I need to give these guys here their drink of water because they are thirsting to death. So, pipes go under the roads where they belong. And we'll bring this guy over here like such. Boom. I connect that up. Uh, I am going to break everything I just said and just plop that pipe right there because it's more efficient and costs less money. Just like that, and we are covered. So now they should not be complaining about water anymore since they have some. And just like that, we, uh, we've we started to adjust our traffic problem and uh, our city's starting to look a little more like a city. I really do like this uh, this interchange style, uh, although it is very, uh, how do you say, inefficient. Um, it's not super great. It, it is a nice interchange, and you get a lot of pedestrians that can just walk across, and that way they don't have to cross the highway and be in danger and all that fun stuff. So, But you can see it does start to build traffic uh, at a rather alarming rate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely America vibes, man. That's where I live. I haven't really been out of the country, so I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, but... I mean, we could do a roundabout somewhere in the city. Somewhere. Might end up doing a roundabout over here for the industrial area when we rebuilt it, so... Uh, you've been outside of America? What, what country? What country did you go to? I've always wanted to travel outside of America. I went to um, I went to Mexico, but the roads and everything, they're still the same. Uh, England and Wales, yeah, their traffic is definitely better. They also have uh, a lot more, well, a lot better public transport. And uh, 
the the just walkable cities are a huge thing over overseas. They're just so much better than what we have here. Okay, so as you can see, most of the traffic is stemming from our industry. All of these guys want to go over here to the industrial area. Honestly, man, go for it. Like, if you want to move there, go for it. Uh, don't let anybody stop you from doing what you want to do. Uh, get your citizenship, do whatever you need to do, and just get it done, man. Because that would be... Honestly, I'd be so proud of you. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know you, man, but I'd be proud of you if, if you followed your dreams and, and did what you wanted to do. Oh. Well, yeah, that's not happening right away, man. I hate to break it to you, but uh, this this might hurt a little bit, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna happen right away. <laughs> Alright, we have a little money, uh, and I think we're gonna take a loan. Uh, we're gonna take a secondary loan, because uh, I am great with money. And we are going to build, over here, a new industry area, because this one is old and outdated... Think of moving for a uh, university? Yeah, I would, man. I would. They've got better universities over there as well. So, to rebuild the industry here, we're going to do a farmland, uh, a farming industry. So, let me get all of this set up for that. I need... What do I need? Where is it at? Right here. Right here. Create an industry area. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I will draw out a wonderful industrial area. And, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it is, it's a lot better over there, man. You won't have to pay for your health care anymore. It's going to be wonderful. So this is going to be called Oriental Land, which I think is cool. It must be placed roadside. So we will kind of set up the... Uh, the basis of our roads here. We'll do some industry roads. This is going to come straight off the highway. I want the highway to loop over here. Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Let's start by looping the highway over here. This way, the, the traffic from our industry stays away from our main city, and we can actually repurpose all of this into uh, uh, residential and commercial. And we'll gain a lot more, we'll gain a lot more space there. I do have some highways, but I like our... Pennywise, welcome, my friend. Welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to join in, sir. We are, we are kicking ass here. Uh, we are making some serious moves for the future of the city. Like, look at that. That right there. I'm not going to be able to replicate it, but it was expensive. How how far did I go? Did I go like that far? It's not going to be parallel. It's a problem. Okay, let me try this again. This time I'll pay attention to how far I go. And I'll, I'll just make it... I want them to be somewhat perfectly parallel. Uh, in case you missed it, Pennywise, man... Uh, Oh, oh, not a problem, man. Not a problem. In case you missed it, we added a little bit of a, a traffic interchange in, in the city over here uh, for our collector road because we were starting to see some traffic build up. And we're now kind of repurposing this as a highway. We upgraded it to four lane roads, gave them some turnabouts so that they could get, you know, around to where they're going. And uh, yeah, now we are actually rebuilding the industry. We're making a, a, a farming industry over here. So that we don't have to deal with all of the traffic from this industry trying to funnel through this one, one collector road here. This will also give us room to kind of build our, um, our residential out to both sides and come along the, the shoreline here. So I think, I think it's going to be good, uh, but I, I guess only time will tell. So we're going to take our four lane one way road and actually pay attention to how far we're going this time so we'll go uh 80 units and then curve in by i don't know i want to pay attention to the degrees as well um all right somebody remember this we went 80 units out we're going to go 125.3 degrees 
and 113 units out. So that, I'm not going to remember that. So we went 80 units out, right? 80, 80, and then we're going to go 113.5 or some shit like that. 125.3. Well, we'll probably have to add to it now, huh? And then 113 units. Boom. That feels fairly even. That looks absolutely dreadful. We will rebuild these bridges. That They look bad. I don't like the bridges. But at least now we have a, a good basis to go off of. So, four lanes again. And we'll come out straight off of it to 20 units and curve that in beautifully 20 units curve that in beautifully oh my god it got worse oh this is the worst road ever holy shit imagine just driving down this and you just ugh, that's bad that's really bad um yeah, because it's trying to, like, level out the bridges. Okay, here's what I'll do. I will just delete the bridges. And then I will begin to raise all of this up to meet that level over there. So if I go here... Honestly. Honestly. And that's saying something. I don't know if you've ever been to Florida. I, I imagine you have, if you know how Florida roads are. But I, I don't know if any of the rest of you have ever been to Florida, but saying they're worse than Florida roads, that means a lot. Okay, that is still fucking horrible, dude. I don't understand. Like, this side looks good. Alright, what if I just, like, delete this one and that one and then try and reconnect it well? That looks like it would go well. All right, that that's far better than what it was, and I'm just going to call it good. Oh, it's so bad still. Okay, that's far better than what it was, and I think we need to cut our losses and call it good because I'm not dealing with it anymore. Oh, and the road stays really high. That's... That's horrendous. Yeah, it's not working. I was trying. Um, it just keeps the road high. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Uh, you know, it's not... It's not going to be that big of an issue, I think. Um, I mean, for the citizens who have to drive on the roads, yeah. But what kind of city actually cares about their citizens? Come on now. Look, this one's actually got somewhat of an even grade. But they are going to ramp down this bridge going like, mock Jesus. Yeah, it's only visual. It's still bugs the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, like, if if I see it later and it bugs me that bad, then I will fix it. It probably will, but I'll forget about it by the end of the stream tonight so far. Um, fuck, that's the wrong way. Okay, so this one needs to go the opposite direction. So we have traffic going in and... Oh, no. Notice how we have a nice two-block spacing. Oh, yeah, American style, all the way, all the way. Uh, we're getting a nice mix of the Michigan and Florida roads in here. But see how we have this nice little two-tile two spacing, and then it slowly cuts down to one, and then just becomes a lumpy, bumpy mess. Yeah, me too. I don't like that, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's what they said. It'll be fine. So let's, uh, let's take a little uh, two-lane road here. Nope, not that one. Uh, we want the two-lane one way, just like that. And we'll just connect these two. Oh, that's a sketchy, dangerous turn. Oh yeah, more efficient, more efficient. That's that's the way we'll look at it. I mean, we don't really have to come all the way out here for the farmland. But I do want to take this and kind of... Oh, that's backwards too, and it looks terrible. Okay, if I delete that, I'm going to make this the same length. Um, it, it is going to bug me. I like that the stream has now just begun, uh, become watch me rebuild stuff until it doesn't bug me anymore. And that's going to bug me too, because this road curves more than this road. Whatever. I just have to quit looking at it, and it won't be a problem. Boom, just like that. 
Add some trees in between, it won't look that bad. I agree, I agree. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's plop some trees in. Notice our demand for commercial and everything has gone up since we pulled a mulligan on this entire part of the town and just kind of destroyed everything. Oh yeah, it's definitely an interesting feeling. It's definitely an interesting feeling to go from doing it yourself to uh, to, to watching somebody do it, I imagine. Um, which trees did we use yesterday? Were they the alders? Were these the alder trees that we used? Because I kind of want to keep them the same. They weren't oaks. Yeah, I think they were the alders. Yes, they were. Alright, come on, alders. And look, to kind of help me get over my OCD, I'm not going to worry about evenly spacing them. Life is full of imperfect things. And I think that's a lesson that we can all take away. Because no matter how imperfect something is, it, it it's still going to be perfect in its own way, you know? And I think that's some wisdom that you can you can take that to the bank. Holy fuck, it's bad. It's so bad. It's so imperfect. It's so imperfect. I don't it will just fill this up with trees. As many trees as I can fit right here. Oh my god. This should not be allowed either. Why is this working? Okay, that's nice. Uh, that's a giant tree bush thing. So, we're almost done uh, plopping our trees down here. And then we'll go ahead and start building out the, the framework, sort of the skeleton, if you will, for the industry of, of uh, the farming over here. For the farming industry, I should say. Let's grab us some... I think the dirt roads honestly fit. I uh, flatten it out with a water wall. Um, the, the What do they call it? They call it a quay in this. I, I've always heard it called a levee. I'm from the south. But, yeah, I mean, I guess we could. Uh, that would always be a viable option. I think dirt roads would be appropriate for a farming style community. So let's, let's do that. Let's make a... I don't know. These are 30 a cell. These are 20 a cell. These are 25 cents a week. These are 19 cents a week. Honestly, not that different. Only difference is the speed. And the speed is... They, they both support the same amount of traffic. The speed here is 30 and the speed here is 40. So I don't know what I want to go with. I'm thinking I'll probably go with dirt though. Uh, it matches the aesthetic of like a, a farming town, farming community type deal. So I think that's what we'll go with. Um, let's find a way to center this. Oh, it's there's no center. There's no center because it's four wide. That's fine. We'll just come straight off of it like that. And this will be kind of the beginning. Now, we will redo this again later to make it more efficient. But as you can see, we are eating through our money super fast. So I want to get this. I just want to get this farm up and running. And start uh, start making some money off of it, so we can free up the rest of our industry. So we will do ten units, I suppose, and kind of use the same grid style that we are so used to. How far did I do those? Did I do those thirty? I don't think I can do thirty here. I can't. That's fine. That's fine. Irregularities are part of the aesthetic. Except that. That's ugly, and I have to delete that and start again. That's really bad. I don't like that. Okay, all of this has to go. This is why my money is disappearing so quickly, because I cannot be happy until it's perfect. Yes, it's just culture, but it... Oh, that one was 11 long, and now it's not going to work for me. It's got to be 10. Got to be 10. Boom, just like that. Perfect little grid squares. Just like Chicago. All right, now we can, I'll do a triangle here, if that makes everybody feel better. That's uneven. That's uneven. You know what? We'll leave it, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. It's uneven, but that's, it adds character, right? That's, that's what it's all about. Oh, it's really bad. It's really badly uneven, and I don't like, oh, okay, it's all going, it's going away, it's going away, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. It has to be... It has to be even. 
At least somewhat even. I, I just can't. I apologize. Alright, I want you to go to a perfect 45 degree angle. Just like that. 31 units. Why is this only 28 units? Why? Where's 31? Oh, is it just uneven? Like that bad? Oh god. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is extend these up here. Like this. And like this. And then we can do our triangle and make it even. That looks better. Let's connect that like such. And then we'll start placing our farm buildings. Because I've had enough of fucking about with this. So, we want to start with our farm main building. We can plop that down right here. Uh, I want to do it like right here. Perfect. Excellent. We have animal pastures, grain silos, uh... Fruit fields and crop fields. These can produce uh, and then go to process buildings, which is where all your money is. All your money is in the process buildings or in the unique factories that will turn them into goods. Because uh, they can also go to your commercial zones and then you don't have to import anything and you save a lot of money. So, what we want to do is start adding some of these little buildings, our production buildings, like our, our uh, crops. Every farm needs crops, right? Come on. Come on. Place where I'd like you to. Right there. Perfect. And we'll just we'll just fill it up with crops. Hey, it's a little uneven, but you know, that's alright. It's alright. It's just uh just some culture, right? There we go. Not everything in oh, I'm broke. I'm dead broke. Oh my god, all our money went away so fast. So, let's see if anybody actually comes out here to do this, um, to farm. Ooh, this is going to have to be taken care of as well. I think we'll do another bridge. We'll do another bridge kind of like we did over here, but over here. That way there's only one way in and out of the city, so all the traffic. We'll get all the traffic right here. It'll be beautiful. <sighs> so, this is, yeah, this is horrendous. This is a lot of people cutting across a busy highway. And I don't like it, so we're just going to pop up a uh, little bridge. Just like we did on the other side. And I'll, I'll be damned if, uh, if I let traffic get the best of me. Page up. Just like that. Straight across to the other side, and down. Beautiful. Nice little bridge right across so people can get to the industrial areas and that sort of thing. Oh, we have our first traffic going out to the... Uh, Going out to the farmland. Come. Come faster. Oh, it's a cop. And they came out here to turn around. That's... Oh, because there's no water. Ladies and gentlemen. Farms require water. At least some small amount of water. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. That was, that was sad. And I have no money. I've already taken out all my loans. I have no money. I'm very poor. Alright, let's speed through time. Yeah, I spent all my money on, on the details. It was horrible. Yeah, look at them. Look at them. They're using the bridge. Brand new. Uh, let's see how traffic's looking over here. Look, man. Traffic's looking good. They're, they're handling it very well. I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, we're just kind of waiting to get a little more money so we can take water out to the farm and start uh, start farming. But yeah, look, man, they're they're the the traffic is great. Fresh water is basic stuff. Ah, oh, shut up, Cedric. What was your name right, Cedric? Yeah, yeah. Be quiet, Cedric. We don't we don't need you complaining about water and electricity. It's not like you use it anyway. Yeah, traffic is handling nicely. We have now 2,713 people in our town, and we are growing fast. Making more and more money. We're going to need residential soon. Uh, we're going to need some more industry, but as soon as we get this powered and watered, then it'll be fine. Uh, we won't need industry for a while. Boom, just like that. And then let's see if we can drag some power lines out here. Perfect. That looks really ugly, but we will fix that later on. We'll move some power plants out here and that sort of thing. And then, hopefully, hopefully, we'll get some farm traffic. Our first farm traffic. I'm really, really excited. Come on. 
Ah, ah, come on, come on. You've got to have some sort of farm traffic. Come on. Oh, you got over. That means you're turning left. Oh, here they come. He's a, he's, he's exporting some agricultural products. All right, let's see. What is our farm budget? How much are we making with our farm? Six, six hundred and six hundred and forty dollars a week from our farm. Man, I feel like I feel like that could have been better, but that's fine. That's fine. It's still brand new. It's still brand new. We're gonna have to dump a ton more money into it just to make it go anywhere. But that's oh, we got dead people. Oh, this is a problem. We got dead people. Oh, I've completely neglected the the well being and the needs of the city. I would be a terrible father. And you're right, man. It is just the start. It's just the start. The farm has plenty of time to grow. We're just going to plop down a cemetery in the middle of the city somewhere. I kind of want to put it where the park is going to go, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. If I just kind of do that, that should get us kick-started. If you ever want to go visit your family, you have to go through the toxic wasteland that is the industry area. So, enjoy that. Uh, well, your dead family. It has one deceased individual in it. So let's see. How's our farm? Oh yeah, we're making uh, we're making crops. That's good. That's good. It's going up. Well, no, it's not really going up at all. Uh, it's kind of just flatlined now. I know once we start uh, once we start adding the the processing buildings. Oh yeah, standard industry is terrible. Uh, there's actually a mod that'll let you get rid of the toxic wasteland, but you know that's all right. I, I like fairly vanilla gameplay. The, the game is is amazing in and of itself. So let's see if we can afford any processing uh, industries now. We definitely want to process some of this stuff. That turns crops into meat. Now this here is where our money's gonna be at. It'll turn crops into meat, and that meat is going to net us some major profits. Grain silo. Uh, we could store crops there. That would be good. Uh, we'll we'll adjust the farm. We'll make it look a little better later. Uh, but for right now, I think that our uh, our animal pasture should be fine. We can change this, of course. Uh, a vote. What should we have? Uh, what should we have our animals be? Of cows, highland cows, pigs, and sheep. And we're not going to see them just, just yet, because they haven't really been fed crops yet. But what do you think? What do you think our animals should be? Cows? Cows. Perfect. We can definitely do that. So, they're going to take a lot of water. And speaking of water, I don't think I ever did get that drink uh, like I was going to because I, I got very concerned for the well-being of these guys in the city over here. Who are now having the police respond. Oh, there's a fire. Lovely. Gotta love it. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. I'm sorry. I'm using my, uh, I got this really cool little metal Yeti water bottle deal. I love it. Uh, elder care increases lifespans. Well, too bad. We don't want old people in our city. We want them all dead. Uh, it makes us more money. Oh, we're losing 64 people a week. What is happening? Why are they unhappy? Are they unhappy? Are they just dying? Oh, we are hemorrhaging people. That's not good. That's going to start affecting our money. What is going on? Is it because we destroyed some of the industry? Now we're not growing at all. Hold on. Why are we leaving? Why are we upset? You seem very happy. Oh, now you're growing. What the hell was that all about? Okay, I guess we'll have to expand residential again. Like, shortly. But let's see how our, uh, our farm is doing. 11.20 a week. There we go. That's what we wanted. That's what we like to see. Yeah, that's what we like to see right there. And there's our cows. There's our cows. They're... Oh, there they go. They're mooing their asses off. They're so angry sounding. Holy shit. All right. Let's get back into the city. Let's focus on the well-being of our residents for a little bit. We'll let that farm kind of idle over there. Yeah. Um, 
let's where is the dirt roads perfect uh, no thank you no thank you no fire departments for me and I think I don't know I almost think it's time to start adding some character here we could just connect it straight to the highway and, and say fuck it to all roadway hierarchy but I think it's time to start adding just a touch of character Almost. Alright, we're starting to have electricity issues, which means we're going to need more power plants. Which means I need to stop spending money on increasing residential development. And start spending more money on power plants. But I just... I just can't. Alright, uh... Just gotta finish the grid. The grid must grow. It's all about the grid. I think what we'll do, like I said earlier, I want to kind of come off of here and connect back to here, but run some nice little curved roads up through these mountains here. I think that would be a beautiful place for some commercial, or I'm sorry, some uh, residential housing. Alright, let's get these guys zoned in. Let's get them some water. Everybody needs their water. Boom, just like that. Uh, well, you go a little bit further. And then let's, let's see what we can do about your electricity usage. So you need a lot of electricity. And I am poor. But I have a fix for this. So we can actually go into our budget and just crank that right on up to like 120. We'll just do like 120. 120, please. 120. There we go. And that should actually boost us up just enough to kind of keep us, keep us good. See, there we go. That'll keep us good for a little while. Granted, it does cost a little more, but we're offsetting that by having the farm. I would not like to create an airport area. I apologize. I don't think this city has any need for an airport as it stands. So yeah, our farm is making us some serious 160 bucks a week. I guess it fluctuates. Why is it costing me more than it's making me? That's frustrating. But that's fine. That's fine. It just, it happens. It happens. Why is our... Oh, our parks make money, too. Our park is definitely costing us more than it's making us. But that's fine. That's fine. We don't... The park is there to make our citizens happy. And no other reason. This is going to be a big park. Uh, you want to build a school? You want to build a school in the city? I suppose we could do that. Anybody against public education? Oh, you're against public? All right, man. All right, all right. We'll be a farming town. I don't have a problem with that. I could do without public education. What are we making here from our fishing, uh, fishing industry? Perhaps, perhaps this? I don't know, because that would kind of combine both the fishing industry and the, the farming industry. Okay, we're gonna start, um increasing our farming industry a little bit and decreasing uh, significantly decreasing our pardon me I'm focused on uh, placing these things down our regular industry uh, because it, it's a very polluting very unhappy kind of terrible thing gonna add another animal pasture and hopefully the five crops uh, producers that we have and I have no water damn it man water is very important you know I said it goes under the roads not today it goes under the pasture that's fine get homeschooled yeah I think we can actually set a policy in place citywide that we don't like schools schools out yep just like that and recreational use ladies and gentlemen I say yes slightly increased tax income and slightly reduced crime rate. There's really nothing that goes wrong with recreational use. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of recreational use. Um, wouldn't it be so rude if we allowed recreational use, but then put a smoking ban over the entire city? That would be wrong. Well, it's a little more money spent on police, but I don't understand why. I mean, we increase our tax income, we increase our tourism, which is going to bring us more money anyway. And we're going to reduce the crime rate by increasing the police budget, which would have happened anyway if we increased the police budget. So I see no downside to making weed legal in this city. 
Hashtag it's legalized. Hashtag THC. Hashtag aim high. Oh yeah, we are starting to have some serious traffic here. Uh, this industry has got to go. It's got to go. Piss poor park. Piss poor park, ladies and gentlemen. It reached level two. Alrighty, what can we add to piss poor park now? Uh, let's see. Let's let's see what we unlocked. Um, that's not at all what I was looking for. Where's the uh, the park life thing? Is it gone? Oh, now there's just a. Oh yeah, yeah. It must have evaporated. Um, I did not get that mod either. Um, you know what? We don't we don't need the water. It, it's. <laughs> I would have liked to have the pond, but you know, sometimes things things don't go as we plan. Uh, how can I get some water in there easily without flooding it? What if I just put sewage in it? No, that would be bad. That would be that would be very bad. Here, we'll put that there. And we'll uh, connect it up to the grid. And then I will turn it off if things go crazy. Which they might. Okay, I know I've learned my lesson. Oh, no. Well. Good news. It wasn't that bad. We have a wonderful little lake. Now, that'll stay until we have to turn that thing on again. Uh, but, I mean, it's great. We have a wonderful little lake in the park. And we're just going to leave the giant culvert thing there. Because who doesn't like to look at that when they take their kids to the park to swim in the water? Oh, that, that water's probably disgusting, too. Lion's biggest fan, man. Thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry I missed it, man. I, I was, I'm was i going to be honest, I was not paying any attention. But thank you so much for the follow. I don't know who you are, but I really do appreciate it, man. I really do. I didn't know I had a biggest fan until just now, man. I'm, I'm, I'm smiling so wide. Alrighty. What do we have going on at the farm? Hmm. Okay, we're making absolutely fuck all, but we are spending $440 a week on it. Hmm. Sorry, sorry, I was eating a Starburst. I had a Starburst sitting here and I really wanted it. It was one of the pink ones. They're my favorite. So I wanted to eat it. And uh, I apologize if you heard me uh, put a swimming center in the city. Do we have a swimming center? I mean, if we have one, I'll put a swimming center in the city. Uh, is that a thing? I think so. It, it, I don't know if it's under parks or if it's under... Under what... Basketball court, chirper balloon tours. Uh, here's where we can add new stuff to our park. We have a park pier. We can actually put in our man-made lake. Fuck yes. Look. We have a pier in our man-made lake. That's amazing. Uh, let me get back to looking for a swimming center. I know there's something like that. There's got to be. There's got to be something like that in here. Ice cream van? We will throw an ice cream van in here. Why not? We'll put it right at the entrance. And a food stall, which is basically just a taco truck. Um, I would buy. I would buy from that taco truck. Oh, we are in desperate, desperate demand for, for more residential. I'm sorry, industrial zone. So. Uh, sorry, that Starburst is still like half in my mouth. Um, desperate need for more industrial zone. What are we going to do? Uh, we could either increase our farm, right? Or we could delete all of this, restructure it, and tuck it off further away with its own dedicated in and out to the highway so that we avoid all the traffic on our main collector road for our residential and commercial areas in the city. And we could just turn where this is now. Like, if we move all of this out this way, we could turn all of this into commercial and have sort of a commercial district in the city and then expand residential out this way. 
Put things in the city that are fun to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will definitely keep them happy. Um, I, I forgot. I was looking for a swimming center. I mean, they're pretty happy as it is. They're honestly, surprisingly, a lot more happy than I thought they would be. Um, just expand the farming area and get rid of regular industry? I think I can do that. Oh, it's gonna... It's gonna be interesting, though. Uh, I don't know how to most efficiently expand this to where it can make up for the bulk of this. Because this is, this is providing a lot of jobs, and it's providing a lot of money for the city. Like, if we look at our budget, you can see that our regular industry is providing us $2,000 a week in income. Our farming is only producing roughly 480, uh, and that's including this fishing here. So, I don't know. I do worry a little bit about that. But, I mean, if you say it works, you have more experience than I. What are you owing? What are you owing? I feel like you've just had an epiphany, and I feel like I feel like you know what you're talking about. Just put a farming district. Yeah, this is a farming. A la verga. I think, I think you're right. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. This is a farming district. This is a farming district. See, uh, you build a, a generic industry area, and then you place your building in the middle, which is your farm here. And it then... Here's, here's what traffic it produces. It produces traffic going within the city to a house... Oh, I guess the homes are coming this way, but that's weird because that's not the direction of the road. The road actually goes the other direction. That's weird. Uh, it is all marked as industrial, so it's it's essentially an industry area, and then once you put the farm in there, it, it marks it all as the farm. Hey, Dibs, how's it going? It marks it all as the farm, so you can, uh, you can go through everything, and, uh, yeah, I'm, we're just building a city. We're having a, we're having fun. Yeah, the DLC the DLC makes a little difference. So the farming specialization would actually apply to industries such as this. Like if I were to paint a district over this, uh, just a just a plain district, and I were to paint a district over this here, like this, and then I could uh, make it farming specialization, and they're all smoking weed over there because why not? And they're gonna completely destroy everything in here because none of it is for farming. And we're gonna lose a lot of money. But that's fine. It, it might actually make it cleaner. I don't know. I don't know, because I absolutely... I despise the pollution and all of that. Dibs, how was your stream? I was at work, so I couldn't tune in. Uh, but how was it? How'd it go? Uh, let's see what these guys come up with here. Yeah, uh, now they're kind of focusing on farming, and we're going to have a land landfill right in the middle. Played a little World of Warcraft? Well, uh, I've never played that game, so I don't know anything about it, but was it fun at least? Did you did you have a lot of fun? Uh, okay, so we've unlocked some new things for our farm, because it's reached level 2 now. Uh, our efficiency has gone up. Oh, you died a lot? Oh, no, 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 felt that, felt that. If you didn't see the Black Ops stream from a couple days ago, dude, I was dying every 5 minutes. Um, Oriental Estate, which is our farm, has reached level two. We unlocked a lot new, uh, a lot of new buildings, and we can. Let, let's see what else did we get? Uh, increase efficiency, decrease pollution. It's going to be even better. Let's uh, let's place some flour mills and bakeries in there, and some farm workers barracks, and then we'll finally get somewhere. I think uh, with our farm, and we'll be able to replace our generic industry so that we are not polluting the world. Uh, small barn, what does it do? Raw materials, so it's the same thing as that. But we have a couple new, uh... New production. Oh, go for it, Dibs, go for it. No, no, no big deal. Uh, we have a couple new production means, uh, that we can use. We have a cattle shed, and we have a flour mill. And I believe we also have... No, 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 just cattle shed and flour mill. What's going to produce more? This is going to give us more workplaces, and... I don't know, pollution and noise pollution is the exact same. That produces 4,000 units per week. This produces 3,200 units per week. We definitely want to go with the flour mill. There, yeah. We definitely want to go with the flour mill. Flour mill is going to give us a lot more, a lot more money. 
Yo, what's up? How's it going, Just Goody? Uh, I, I'm excited to see you here, as a matter of fact. I, uh, I look forward to talking with you here in a little bit. I want to kind of rebrand everything. Just Goody, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But yeah, I kind of, I kind of just want to go over and, and rebrand everything. And, uh, I think that you, I've seen some of your work and, and I really, really like it. And I think that you would be, uh, you would be perfect to, to, to work with on this one. And I've spent all my money. I've spent all my money. But let's hope. Did I put water here? No. No, I did not. Boom, water. And they should get electricity from the surrounding buildings here. Perfect, perfect. Are they producing? Are they producing like they should? Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that, guys. We are... We, we've made a ton of money from this so far we can pretty much just replace our industry now now that we have a self-sufficient self-sustaining farm it's more efficient it's less polluting exactly exactly it went way up okay it's kind of starting to level out now but every time they start shipping more and more it, it shoots way up so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of this industry that is killing people because of all the pollution. And we are going to turn this into a commercial zone. So let's just kind of call a mulligan on this and delete everything. We'll delete all of this except for a couple little roads here and there. And I, of course we will reconnect the uh, the fish farm. Oh, I love this game so much. This is, uh, this is City Skylines. And oh, let's not delete our power plants. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Ah. So I'm going to have to readjust just a couple of things here to, to keep the power plants up and running. Because they are somewhat super important. I don't want to put them next to the farm, though. I feel like putting them next to the farm would be a problem. Uh, we also need to make some adjustments to keep the landfill and... Uh, should make uh, this this area here into an airport. You can spam windmills by the farm. Oh, that would be nice. Some nice aesthetics there. We'll go through here in a minute and we'll kind of add some aesthetics. But right now, I just kind of want to get this up and running. Uh, we will delete all of these beautiful little roads here. Oh, and destroy our electricity. Let's not do that. That's very important. Kind of keeps our farm up and running and keeps our water up and running. Uh, I will probably sell the fishery. Uh, how do I sell it? Maybe I can't. That's fine. We'll just delete it. We will just delete it. And then I'll have to go through and delete all these little routes because they are going to bug me so bad if they just sit there. So let's uh, just delete all these little bad boys real quick. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. The one thing about this game is you, you can never be afraid to just delete everything you've worked so hard on and start again. Now, let's uh, let's get some basic little roads here. Just to connect up. Just to uh, connect up our um, important industries. Like this guy here. Now we may have to uh, we may have to slightly readjust them. Come on, come on! Don't snap. There we go, just like that. And then we'll do just like that. It, this looks really bad for right now. When we get more money, I promise you, I promise you, we will redo it because I'm not a fan of where it sits right now. It, it looks really ugly, and there's really no use for this territory anymore. Uh, I agree, man. Um, we can definitely save a spot in here for an airport, uh, but I would like to zone some residential around it. I think it would be really cool to have an airport in the middle of the city, which I've never actually had before. Uh, I also have the airports DLC, which lets you build your own airports rather than just using the little pre-built uh, in-game airports. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I definitely want to leave a spot in here, though. Uh, the pollution should start clearing up relatively quickly. 
I see. So this little guy here, what is he? I think that he's just generic industry, and if he is, then he's got to go. No, what is he? What is this? What what are you? Oh, you're a police station. You're actually rather important. Let's get you connected back to the main road, buddy. Just like that. Boom. Uh, everybody is connected, except for you and you and you. The whole town is about to lose power. Oh, no, they're not. Amazing. So we can actually get rid of that, and that would be lovely. So this is going to be a lot of traffic on this road here. I did not think this through at all. So let's get... Hmm, what do we want to do here? Yeah, I think we just let it run for a minute. We're still... We want industry bad. So... Yikes. Um, We're going to have to upgrade the farm. Only problem with that being I don't really have the money to upgrade the farm. Like I can't put any more barracks, which is what we really want. We don't necessarily want industry. We want more jobs. And we cannot afford to put the barracks, which means we cannot afford the jobs. And I've already taken out all the loans I can take. I've taxed people just as high as I can tax them without them leaving. I think we're going to have no choice but to bring back some industry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we're going to have no choice but to bring back at least a little bit of industry. But I think this time when we bring it back, we can be a little more efficient about the way that we do it. So that they have their own... Yeah, yeah. I think... Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. We can come over here and do some of that. And then they have their own highway, they have their own route, and they're away from the rest of the city so that we're not dealing with all of that traffic on the back end. And we'll just kind of come uh, out 10 and 10 like that. I don't want to connect this up to the highway uh, because that would be bad. We would cause some serious traffic issues if we did that. But we'll bring it 10 out, 10 out, just like that. And then we can actually make a little bridge. Oh, you can make a dirt road bridge. That's weird. I don't like that. And then we'll zone all this. We'll zone all this for farming, just like you were saying. Oh, yeah. That's that's actually an interesting little bridge. Oh, it's wood. I've never made a bridge with a dirt road before. That's interesting. It's, it's wood. I like that. And that'll come across like that, uh, so that traffic can get across uh, back and forth just like, just like such. So let's zone all of this for industry with a specialization on it, uh, farming. Uh, we may actually have to delete some of this industry here, so dezone just a little bit of this. Um, and I, yeah, we're gonna have to dezone just a little bit of that, but that's fine because this needs to go anyway. We can get rid of that, and we can get rid of, we get rid of, get rid, okay, how do I, I need this one. Get rid of some of this, and we'll just kind of hug that right up to where the farm is. That way we can zone a secondary area, and zone some farming within it. And we'll kind of extend this out to fill the triangle. I think it'll look really, really cool. I think it'll be a pretty cool little area. Because the triangle is nice and even now, and I, I like even things. My OCD just goes crazy if it's if it's off center. So let's zone all of this to be industrial, and hopefully we'll start making some more money. And we need to set a zone within here. And just, I'll bring this all the way down to the water for now, and we can adjust it later. And we'll set it for a farming specialization. Where is my farming specialization? Right here. Perfect. And that way the pollution will be lower. I think we'll make a little less money, but the pollution will be lower, and that's, that's what really, really matters. I don't like pollution near my, my food and veg. I, I don't know about you guys, but... Let's, uh, let's hit play and see, see how they come. They should be moving in pretty quickly with how high that demand is. 
abandoned building. Uh oh. Oh, it's not that big a deal. Okay, let's see about just very quickly zoning some commercial. Sorted down this main highway here. Ooh, you know what could be even better? If we zone, like, this road, have a little commercial down here, and then have some commercial over here. That way we kind of start mixing our commercial and our residential a little bit. It, it's always nice when you have some mixed-use mixed use land within a city. So I don't know about you, but I would hate to have to drive an hour and a half just to get to the store because it's all the way on the other side of the city. But yeah, these guys are coming in now. We should probably give them some water. Uh, they might like that. But they do have electricity. And now they have water. Come on. I know you have water. We might get a little bit of pollution. I don't remember exactly. But this looks nice. I like the way this looks. And they should just be able to come in straight from the highway and get straight back to the highway where they're going. So all the traffic should be localized right up here. See, now you're thinking like a European. Exactly. Exactly. And I do eventually, uh, even though I'm trying to stay away from public transport, I do want to do a lot of pedestrian walkways and pedestrian paths. Because these people in this game will walk literally 20 miles just to avoid driving. And just having a well-developed pedestrian infrastructure within the city can save you a lot of traffic. Save you a ton of traffic. So, let's see. They, they look like they're building nicely here. We could even do, like, no, we couldn't do industry over here. Um, we couldn't do, like, commercial. Because it's not close to residential areas. Commercials need a couple different things. They need customers, which they get by being on a nice busy roadway like this one here, or this one here is very, very busy. Or it used to be. I'm not sure now. These guys might need employees later. I don't know. But they need, they need, uh, some of them need educated employees for like management positions. Some of them need uneducated employees. So it's a good idea to have a good mix of both within your city. I think we're going to get not enough educated workers soon. But we also kind of banned schools. So. Uh, we need to refill the pond. So let's turn that on real quick and turn it right back off. Oh no. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Uh, cycles work the same way? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, but I definitely, I believe I have roads with cycle lanes on them. Should be good to use. I don't think cycling counts as public transportation because you have to buy your own bicycle, right? Um, I believe somewhere in here I have some bicycle lanes. Yeah, right there. Like a four-lane road with bicycle lanes. I need to reach a population of 5,000 first, though. And I am losing citizens for some reason. But that's fine. We are making a ton of money. Wow. Why are we making so much money? Let's have a look. What are we making money from? We have industry. Uh, we're making 740 from our... F oh, we're making a ton from our farms. And not much else. So, I think we can start expanding this out a little bit. We've got $48,000 to play with. Now I'm thinking like a true capitalist. Yeah, gotta love it, gotta love it. We're gonna expand this out a little bit. Uh, we, we're, we have a little more money to play with. So, I think if I kind of follow the triangle, I feel like the triangle will lead us home. Now we're getting to that more naturalist design less of a grid i mean don't get me wrong it's still very much a grid okay what is going to be a nice straight road there how did i do it on the other side did i come to this little pinpoint or did i go out i don't know you know what it doesn't have to be perfect nothing has to be perfect Nothing has to be perfect. It just has to be perfect. So, yeah. We'll bring this out to the ocean, almost. I don't want to bring it all the way out to the ocean. I still want to have my nice, even... Bring that in line with that. Build another little bridge across. 
Now traffic's gonna start becoming an issue again because there's only one way in and one way out. Uh, that should go right there, just like that. Uh, let's not play the game yet because that's gonna be bad. This comes down. 90-90. This is 21 units across, which is an odd number. That's fine. Bring it on up. Right across like that. Now, that is not bad. That's not bad at all. But I think if we delete this... I know, we'll delete the curves and we'll make them perfectly straight triangles. And then I think we can even come down... Go 26 out here. 26 out here and then come straight up. Now that, that's nice. That's a nice large little, uh, I say large little, that's, um, it's an oxymoron. It's a nice large industry area that we can use to make a ton of money and exploit our citizens. And I am going to follow the grid. The grid is a way of life. It doesn't have to be a perfect grid, but it does have to be a grid. And why can't I not build there? Uh, I would like to. I would very much like to. Why, why, why won't you let me build there? That works. That works just fine. And then we'll connect just like that. And try and make it symmetrical-ish. On the other side. You know what? That is not symmetrical at all, but it's close enough for me. Um, yeah, I'll just go like I'll, I'll split the difference. I'll do like right here. No, I gotta I gotta go on the dots. I think I went on the dots over here. And then we'll bring these straight on up, just like that. And we will follow the grid. The grid is our way of life. Now let's just zone an absolute fuck ton of industry in here. And this is going to be a ridiculous amount of traffic, so just get ready for it. Let me get my tool here. Or we'll try this way. Yeah, just like this. We'll zone right up to that farming industry. Boom. Let's see how it does. Okay, okay, electricity has become a problem. Um, electricity has very rapidly become an issue. Here we go. This should fix it. Okay, that's fixed. That is fixed. So, come on, build, build, build. Make me money. Make me money. That's all I want is money. I need it. Oh, you guys are thirsting to death. Jesus, hold on. I can fix this. You're out of water. I apologize. I apologize. You're out of water. Let's give you more water. We can do that. That's something we can do. Here you go. We're also going to dump more sewage into the ocean. Wonderful. Okay, you guys, stop. It's okay. It's okay. The farm, they use a lot of water, but we got you taken care of. We got you taken care of. You pay your taxes, we'll take care of you. That's all that matters, right? So, looks like we are doing great. I mean, there's a lot of traffic here. Traffic means economic development. We're making money. We're definitely making money. There's no doubt about it. What kind of money are we making, though? We're making a an, an absolute ton from our farming industries. I mean, look at that. That is insane. What else, what else are we making? From our far farming factory zones... We're making 2700 from our actual farming industry we are making 3400 to 4800 I, I mean we're we're making money this is good and there's no water jesus okay we'll make more when we have water uh when we actually pay attention to the needs of our citizens and give them what they need come on here here have some water have some water you pay your taxes it's fine you paid for this. 
All right, here is some water. Wonderful, wonderful people. The industry, the industry needs more water than anyone else. So I imagine we'll probably have some water crises again, like we did earlier. There we go. That kind of covers everything. That is the worst piping job I've ever done. That is absolutely horrendous. But it'll do. It'll do. It's fine. Speaking of water, I'm going to take a drink of water. Enjoy these little guys building up and driving around. We're going to have to fix traffic here eventually. It's There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are going to have to fix traffic. Gotta love it. Alrighty. Uh, we really have a lot of demand for residential now. Um, we can expand this out more. Yeah, let's do that. Let's expand this out. And then... How did I say we wanted to do that? We will continue with the grid for now. I think... Yeah. Come out this way. Kind of follow along the shoreline here. Just like that. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's actually fairly natural. I like that. It's going to be a little bumpy because of the elevation and whatnot. See if we can kind of somewhat make this okay. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad. We're getting a little more natural here. Getting a little more natural. It's good. And let's just fill that full of residential area. And maybe the demand will go down. Oh, wait, before we even start. I remembered this time. Gotta give them their water. They don't like it when they're thirsty. Uh, let's kind of go out just a little bit further. Just to make sure we get nice, good coverage. I know they belong under the roads. Like I always say. But sometimes you have to do things that aren't entirely legitimate. Because at the end of the day, it's still just a video game. So, I think it's crazy that we still have dirt roads. We need to start fixing those. And we have electricity issues again. We're going to need to build another power plant. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are beyond the point of just bumping up the budget. We definitely need to build another power plant, and we need to get that done as quickly as possible. And we might... I think it's going to be a good investment to just do two for now. I think a uh, few more population when we hit like 5,000, I believe that we will hit a, a nuclear power plant. And that's what we really want for our city. Now, if that's not thinking like a European, I don't know what is. For some reason, Americans are scared of nuclear power. Even though it's the cleanest, most efficient form of energy that you can find. Uh, besides like a fusion reactor. But still, I digress. I digress. Let's focus on the on the beautiful little people that are moving into our city. What I kind of want to do is determine which of these roads here is going to be the busiest. It's looking like this one here next to our park. I know, Europeans are shutting down their nuclear. And I could go into that, but I'm sure it's going to piss some people off. Um, and I'm not, I'm not a big fan of pissing people off just to piss people off. Um, but a lot of people... A lot of people all around the world are scared of nuclear power and and I suggest that anybody who is interested in that sort of thing go and do some research on it man because nuclear power is really interesting I believe it's the way of the future and 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 yeah I mean especially with with more energy efficient ways or or more energy being used by say electric vehicles we're depending more and more on electric infrastructure and nuclear power is is the way of the future it's extremely clean the nuclear waste isn't even that bad oh james webb that's kind of funny we were just talking about science and james webb tweets out that's kind of funny but yeah uh nu nuclear power is extremely efficient it's it's a really really clean energy source and in my opinion there's just nothing better with our current technology but as i said i digress um, we will move on, and I'm actually going to delete some housing along this side here, and we're going to replace this with commercial. They would fit right in. They would do great here. A lot of residential next to them just to, uh, 
and I don't actually have to go through and delete everything. I can actually do one of these little numbers here and just dezone. Boom, just like that. And all of these guys are going to have a really bad day. Yeah, man, nuclear is definitely the way of the future. N nuclear power is definitely... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it can be scary, but we, we are such an advanced species, honestly. And that's all we are. We, we are just a species in the animal kingdom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The waste is extremely, uh, you know... The waste is actually surprisingly safe. Most of the, the particles coming off of the nuclear waste can be blocked with a piece of paper. Because most of them are alpha and beta particles at that point. Now look at this. We are moving in some commercial on this main stretch here. This main little collector road that we have. And I believe they're going to make some money. They're going to really enjoy it here. Our commercial demand is going down. The demands of our city are well met. I believe they're really, really liking it here. Our industry is booming. We're absolutely loving it down here. And I'm thinking that this is going to be a good place to uh, to go ahead and end it off. And uh, I, I I appreciate you all for coming out, coming by, coming by, hanging out, watching. And uh, I'll be on the same same time same time tomorrow. 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I look forward to seeing some of you there. Hopefully all of you there. 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Because I work 12-hour shifts, man. I can't be doing this all night. I apologize. I'd really like to keep playing, but I do have to shower up, go to bed, uh, get some food in me. So, again, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the awesome conversations that we've been having. And uh, y'all have a wonderful night. We will see you tomorrow.